Well, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Please hit the like button, share, subscribe if you can. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allows is made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips, the balance in favor of fair use. So right now today we are using this copyright disclaimer for teaching and everything that's being said in this video, it is of my opinion. I hope everybody having a great day. I had a doctor's appointment today. I had blood work done, the mammogram done. So hopefully everything come back fine because we don't have no history of cancer. When you go to the doctor and you fill out your, your, your family past history, doctors want to know um, if your mom, dad been sick, whoever. Your past history is going to determine, not all the time, if you happen to go through immediate surgery and you happen to die, sometimes they can look at your past history. Instead of taking on the negligent that they cause, they will use your past history and say, you know what, that sugar diabetes took her out of here. Mm, we see that little cancer up there in the corner and her liver took her up on up out of here. They will never be honest on what happened. So now when I go to the doctor, I am healthy, healthy, healthy. So, that being said, I used to smoke cigarette. So now I got peel on the paper, I never smoked, okay? Any family history, we ain't had none. Okay. Yesterday, I was on Miss Treese Live. Ms. Tree say, unsubscribe. Anybody, I don't want your dirty money. Unsubscribe. I don't care. I don't want your money. I don't take you whatever, whatever back. And I say to myself, everybody who been your friend Trees, you the friend them. And be first before I get in my commentary, if you want to be negative. If you, you is easily to um, um, be influenced in a way where you being negative and bringing it to my channel, how about you not stay on my channel, go off, find something else to do, go get a coloring book, color in the coloring book. I don't care what you do. Just get off my channel. I don't want nothing negative over here. I don't need your opinion over here if it's not pertaining to what I'm talking about. I don't have to bring nobody in the front of the class for being foolish. Stay in your lane. Okay, stay in your lane. This is my page. I speak how I want to speak, when I want to speak. And like I say, this channel is for the truth. And I'm with you when you write, okay? That's what it's all about. I'm with you when you write. So yesterday she been on her live. She was ranting about, you know, Tanya is her friend and she know for a fact. And she was saying things about Miss DJ. Okay. And um and I felt very angry when she did this, okay? Ms. DJ is from the South, I'm from the South too, okay? So, when she said what she said, and I know Ms. DJ was coming from a good place, I felt some type of way about that. And I said, ain't no way in hell. These people be supporting you and you study throwing people under the bus? Now, after that happened to Ms. B, and I felt Ms. B was a very, very good friend. I don't live in the house with y'all, but I can see this lady wasn't in the cameras like that. She didn't want to be in the spotlight. 
the lady had your back. I got a friend that mind me of Miss B. And when I saw that happen, I said, mm, crap happened. See, I don't believe in being friends with people and we falling out arguing. Ain't no such thing as friends going to argue. No, friends don't argue because people who are family-like, they don't argue. They love each other and keep it moving. You may have disagreements, but you're not going to argue. Now, if I got to argue with somebody, I'd rather not be your friend. And if you got that mindset in your head thinking that's the only way somebody could be a friend of yours, I don't want no kind of people around me. It could be very dangerous and messy. So, when you slinging slurs yesterday, everybody knew you was talking about Miss DJ. Miss DJ was really coming from a great place, okay? When she did a commentary on how she felt about different things, she really was coming from a great place. See, I could have seen, and I thank God for discernment, and that's why I say I'm on nobody's side when it comes to these YouTube, except my side and God's side, and, and I'm with you when you're right. Only for people who is right, who want to do the right thing. When Miss Ross came on her channel, Miss Ross been coming from a good place, but you took it personal. You decided to get angry because I was following you since day one, and I follow Ross since day one. She was coming from a good place, but you didn't like the commentary that she was giving. You felt that she shouldn't give her opinion on anything, and you started lashing back. As I could remember, you look Roz up to bring her information out on her and that's how everything started getting messy so there's a re when you react towards thing is a reaction towards everything we do okay so we got to stop crying and playing the victim at things and learn to accept when we do things wrong and stop pointing the finger at other people when we know we the one who like that match Dates. Dates. So we got to be very mindful how we say things. Yesterday, instead of you keeping your mouth closed, because the lady had your back. I could have tell in her voice, she had your back. Instead of keeping your mouth closed, and that's why I always teach my kids sticks and storm may break your bones. You know why I tell my kids that when they was younger, growing up into their adulthood? No matter what somebody say, it can't kill you. So what? Why you want to answer to something if it's not pertaining to you? Even if Miss DJ came on her page and she said something or how she felt, if I was you and you supposed to have been up there, I wouldn't even respond at all. I wouldn't even say anything. Hello? On. Oh, it's, a, it's like an off-brand one in the same little bottle type looking thing. Is it in the box or container? Which one? No, don't get that. No, 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 don't get that. I know, I do. I know what you're talking about. No, don't get that. That's liquid. Thank you, bro. Mm -mm, don't get that. Okay. All right. Thank you. When you get a chance, when you finish eating, put that chicken in some water so I can go ahead and cook that quick, fast, and hurry, honey. But anyway, when you got people coming from a good place, don't throw them under the bus. Everybody shouldn't be. Listen now. My mama always say, God bless her soul. She says it's okay to take one, two, three opinion and maybe more. But when you got people saying the same exact thing, all these people not lying. Everybody who come to be your friend 
they got to like, what I see, my opinion, they got to sweat. They got to actually run when you call for them. When it's time for you to wake up with your drama and you call them, they got to be there. These type of friends, I don't want in my life. None of my friends do them kind of stupid mess. They, I can't, no ma'am, I don't deal with that. See, me and my friends, we screw it up. You know what I'm saying? We don't need each other to fight a battle. We go to an individual, speak what you got to speak. No, we here. We don't have to have each other at that time. We did things by ourselves. See, people talk all this on this internet, but in person, they won't even bust a grape. But like how I said, you can't sit and defriend everybody who come in contact with you. Everybody a demon. Everybody not a demon. And the reason why I came on here and make this video because you even said in one of your lives, you, you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. I'm totally against that. Anybody who against God, I'm against them, period. I don't care who it is. Brother, sister, mother, child. Anybody against God, I'm not, nah, I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not for that. Then you got back on your live, you started back bashing people. Always remember something. Me and somebody had a disagreement. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't go to clubs, I don't have no sidekick. I don't be at this sleep with different people. Whatever somebody do, that's their choice. That's just not my thing. But when you find somebody who is not out there doing these worldly things and choose to do things in a more fruitful way because it's consequence with the most high, and then you find somebody who feels as though they got to be turned up, they got to be with everybody, lay down with everybody, just overall doing whatever they want to do and they decide to curse somebody who not doing these things. The Most High doesn't work like that. See, we gotta, we gotta understand where we are getting these voices from. We gotta understand where our help is coming from. The Most High said he don't hear no sin of prayer. Anybody who's sinning, doing things out of the will of the Most High, he said he do not hear them. So when people say, oh, the most high is go get that person, get that person. God doesn't work like that. God is a jealous God and an angry God. And I'm not trying to be religious on this um, internet right now, but I'm being truthful about it. That's one man you don't want to play with. Now, I do believe that when somebody has sell their soul to the devil, and you can sell your soul to the devil once you don't blaspheme against the Holy Ghost and you praying, saying God, because there are several gods, and asking God to do something evil towards somebody, that's not the most high you talking to. That's a demonic spirit you talking to. And some demonic spirit will work in your favor and some won't. Then you'll find some. When you call upon these demons, what happened is that they're going to come back in your house. So you got to understand some. Each demon, each time you call upon something bad to happen to somebody, that demon got to come back off in your life, in your house. So you got to be careful what you say and what kind of what kind of doorway you open and what kind of things you allow to enter into your life. Your life is your soul. Whatever you allow in there, anybody you live with, that's your, that's your spirit. Taking hold of this spirit. And if you don't repent to ask the most high for forgiveness by name, by each person you lay down with, you will be accounted. You will be accounted for it. Each person you've been with that's considered your husband, I'm be truthful because a lot of older women on this internet is not being honest with you. Everybody you lay down with that's considered being your husband. So we got to be mindful of the things we do when we say we're going to count your costs on things. 
Then you want to call the most high out on people who probably not even doing these sinful act. That's why I say you got to be very careful that you don't pick them out on the wrong person. Because it could be de detrimental to you. Not only you, for your kids. Because you got to understand when your kids fall under you as a mother. Because he don't have a respectable person, the most high. So you got to be mindful when you do things. Not because it can fall on your kids. When I choose to keep my behind still and not to be out there in the streets sleeping with, with, with different people, I choose to do that because it's consequence from the most high. But I don't knock anybody who chooses to do it. That's your judgment. But I did feel some type of way. When people do commentary, you think everybody is evil. But you coming on the internet and you present yourself to the whole world to see because you want to be this famous person. You want to be the person in the spotlight. And when you place yourself out there in that spotlight, and when people looking at you and they giving their commentary or their reaction towards what you do, you get mad. When you sign up with this YouTube, because Google the one who really own a, a lot of this stuff. But when you sign up for YouTube, YouTube always going to protect itself by all costs. That's why when you sign up, they let it be known in their rules and regulation. You will have people that make commentary on you or reaction is not against the law is allowed to be done. Everybody on this Internet is content. Not people who just making a video. And to be truthful about it, a lot of your video get banging because of other people, even if they're saying something ugly that you don't like. So what? People say things all the time we're not going to like. It happens all the time. When these people start talking about you and saying things that you didn't like, in my opinion, you started really booming. That's how you was able to get out there like that. You know how many celebrities and people wish they'd been in your position right now? And you saying, everybody need to stop. Just stop. However the kids may go. I sat back for a while and I observed everything and I took it in. From some of everybody channel. I don't think the man, in my opinion, I don't think the main problem is that people using your name when it comes to you. I think the main problem is you don't want nobody to get ahead of you. It's like an embarrassment, in my opinion, to you mentally. You really thinking that's an embarrassment. So that's why you want a lot of people page to be shut down because you're not happy because they use you as commentary or for reaction, reaction channels, however the case may go. You feel very offensive of that. You feel like you're being intimidated. You feel like you're being defeated. I always been a strong believer when you do what's right by the most high and you pray and you don't have nothing negative to say about anybody and you just do what you do, what you been was doing, and don't worry about other people who trying to come up. I believe that the most high would set you on a, on a higher elevator than what you on right now, but you too busy worrying about the small meat under you. And when you worry about something that's under you, that means you are giving, giving that all your energy, all your faith that you have at that time and what's going to happen. That's how people are going to be able to catch up with you. You could be here, they can be in here, and that's why they're elevating where you at. They, they coming to you, they're almost where you at, because you're not being focused. You're not understanding the assignment on how things really is. I sat back and watched all these people who made a, a video on you. These people you have actually lashed back at. Some of these people you said things about slick under your tongue. And they got a whiff of it and they came out. Some people really felt that you really 
scam them, in my opinion. That's how they really feel. They felt it was coming from a good place and you came back with a bang. So they fell in their mind. Since they can't tell you how they feel, they're going to start making videos where you can hear them. And that's truthfully what happened. Sometimes when I see you, you come on this internet, because you're so happy to have your supporters, you are. You don't wash your face, in my opinion, because you can see all the things in your eye, run your mouth. Your hair is all across the place to be a woman. When I wake up in the morning, this is no word of lie. I pray, times I can remember, I pray, because I'm not going to sit up here and lie. I go in that bathroom, I wash with four rags, white rags. I got to have four rags. I got to have four of these when I wash my body. One rag is for my face, one for my private area, one for my back area, and one for my body, okay? Now, I can't go to bed and I can't get up while taking a shower. Honestly. I don't allow people in my room. I don't care if me and you cool. You can't come in my room. My mom always say, and my grandma, your room is your sacred place. And anytime you allow people to come in your room, you could tell a woman by her room. My mom will always teach you that. You could tell a lot about a woman by her room. If a woman allows somebody else to come in their room, that easily she allow anybody in her bed. Did you hear me? My mom and my grandmama always said, when you allow people in your room, you allow anybody in your bed. That's all limits. You can't even come in my room. I don't care if me and you cool. Room is off limit. That's my separate place. So we got to be mindful. When you get up in the morning, brush your teeth, wash your tail, put you some clothes on, and brush your head on. Get your overall hygiene together. I don't care if you so upset you ready to rage at that time. Make sure you're good to go before you get in front of this camera. Some things only take five minutes. Truthfully, get yourself together. You're a woman. Let's be real about it. Then you're sitting there wondering why people are saying bad things and why people are talking about you. Because you're not keeping your hygiene the way it's supposed to be. You just overall just get up and you on it. You ready to kick tail. You ready to travel and beat somebody up. That's not the proper way you go about doing things. How y'all doing? Okay. That's not the proper way you do things. When somebody coming from a good place and they're doing commentary to help you, because this lady took her time to help you. Me personally, I'm a reaction channel. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm here to support everybody. But when you're taking somebody who's good, and doing good commentary, like Miss Ross. Miss Ross came from a good place. She even said she was, Teresa, I'm giving you my opinion. When she first started off, things just got heated because somebody just started going left with it. Want to find out who the lady is because you couldn't take what somebody was saying about you. People going to talk. That's life. Things like that going to happen. You you doing this to yourself. You allowing people to do this to you. You know why? When you up here and you say you up here and you a celebrity, celebrities don't never look down under them because they move the elevator. But when you keep looking down, what going to happen? Everybody you looking down on going to be up to your level sooner or later because you keep looking down. When you a celebrity the way you say you is and you moving up, you better keep on going. Keep on going. You don't find no celebrities coming on this internet responding to what somebody said. 
Ethi do is very rare. Very rare. I believe you and Miss Tanya, in my opinion, had a falling out. When she wasn't coming on her channel, even making pages like that. That's my belief. But somehow, she made the ends with you to clear things up and y'all started back talking again. That little time period where she was solid, was coming on the internet for that little time period, I believe y'all had a falling out. When you're friends with somebody, be their friend and stop allowing them to be your slave. Stop allowing them to sweat. Stop allowing them to go through the deep water just to show they really want to be your friend. That's too much. I got girlfriends and you know what? I believe they love me enough not to allow me to get on the road any time of night. They love me enough not to wear me down, stress me out for me to show them that I care about them. Then if they don't show you, you and your feelings, you talk about everybody under your breath. Get help. Like seriously, I'm not trying to be funny. In my opinion, get help. There are doctors that can actually give you medicine. Because I dealt with people who've been hearing things that wasn't there. And them demons will make it sound like the person voice. And it's not even the person who talking. It's the demon talking. Got you thinking somebody in the room talking about you on the phone. There ain't nobody even in the room talking about you on no phone. That's something that's really mental. And if you don't, let me tell y'all something. And I'm going to end this. When my sister died a couple years ago. I saw my sister death before she died. And that's when my mom was in the emergency room. Her sugar level was so high, she went in the sugar coma. And when I was sitting there and I look over, her boyfriend said in his demonic voice, but his mouth wasn't moving, but I could have seen it. I'm going to kill your sister. And I said, I'm going to rebuke you. I rebuked that demon. Yes, I did. And when I rebuked that demon, it turned the head away quick like that. So I got up. We're in the snack room. And uh, me and my sister at the time, her daughter, I told her what I heard came out of that man's mouth, the demon that was in him. And she said, oh, auntie, I hate when you hear these things because they always come true. I said, let me tell you something. We got to pray. I believe prayer change anything. But I believe if it's your time, it's your time. So my sister walked in. She said, what are y'all talking about? I told her, I said, look. You need to leave. But when you leave, do not stay in that same area when you leave. But that man is going to try to kill you. I didn't want to tell her, like, kill. Because at the end of the day, God got glad to say so. You all try to think positive in the midst of. And I told her that man gonna try to kill you because I heard it out of his own mouth. The demon said he is going to kill you. Make the long story short, I found out after she passed that she was packing her stuff. When he go to work, she be packing her boxes up, getting her stuff together moving stuff slowly but surely but when she finally moved out she didn't move like how i told her away she stayed in the same time up the road make the long story short hold on make the long story short he ended up finding her one morning he killed her at the gas station but that come to show you how people he killed her, didn't, he didn't even know at the time he shot her in her head because demons was talking to him. Times that he lashed that at my sister, he actually thought my sister was talking to him, but it was a demon talking to him the whole time because she wasn't even living with him no more. 
when you don't get something fixed and you study walking around here like you normal because you afraid of what people gonna think about you don't allow that demon to take you out they always say it's two things when you see spirits black shadows demons either that's your demon who is following you he just waiting for the proper time to slay you or you can be dealing in spirits where these spirits is following you and it's only a matter of time when you got to pay back what you ask them to do it could be from a car accident in my opinion these are things that really happen to people car accident death losing kids because you got to understand anytime you go to these different people who do evil they're not going to tell you you already don't give up the ghost something but they're not going to tell you what it is it could be a car accident losing a limb on your body when you're dealing in witchcraft so you got to be careful especially when you got kids because i always say i don't care for people who deal in witchcraft i don't care for people who like witchcraft because i love my kids and i love my overall family and i don't want nothing to fall back on my kids for what i choose to do that's why i don't believe in it so keep doing what you're doing if you think it's working for you it's only a matter of time when you sit and you allowing that evil every time you call upon evil every time you call upon something to be wrong or bad or you want something bad to happen to somebody you are only summons in spirits to linger around you and when spirits linger around a person they don't ask for forgiveness continue to live every day like that it's going to get worse from there on ain't nothing going to get better it's only a matter of time baby and i had a family member this is no word of lie that couldn't sleep for years when i say that demon was riding her for years. She was so exhausted. It was one thing after the next, you hear me? That demon had bothered her so bad it caused many afflictions on her body. It caused her to look not only like herself no more, but she had looked like she was dead, like she was very demonic. So it doesn't only affect your life, it changes your overall appearance. So you got to be very careful when you want bad things to happen to people. Because you don't want them talking about their commentary. You want something bad to happen. You better be mindful. Because you're going to pick that mouth on the wrong person who is really wrapped up with the Most High. And when they pray... I promise you, when they pray and they get on their knees, and I don't care, a lot of people is chosen by God. God said he don't favor one from the next. But when they get on knees and pray and they're not out there in that world doing no worldly things, and they put that mouth on you, game over for you, babe. I'm going to tell you right now, you better stop that mess. Everybody not going to have that type of sympathy when you want them to have. people consider being Christians they got feelings too I never look at a Christian because they react that they're not saved or God not going to save them I don't never think that way but I do know for sure when you put them out upon God's chosen people who are not out there doing malicious things in the street don't, don't mock yourself, baby. I'm going to tell you right now, you better be careful with that tongue in your mouth. Everybody don't have a gift of God. I thank God for my discernment, and I thank God for when I speak things that happen. And I don't, one thing I can say, and anybody know me can say the same thing. That lady right here. She don't play wrong and wish bad on people. And nobody can't say I ever did that. I wish bad on. I can recall two people in my whole life living because they wished death upon me. And it wasn't, they didn't even live a month. 
So you got to be mindful when you put them out on people who really don't have no malicious intent in their heart at all. But when they do it back, it's game over. Especially if you know you're praying to the right God. So y'all please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you can. And thank y'all for tuning in.